Welcome and thank you for joining us. This is Springfield National Weather Service Office with a short video about extreme cold and the wind chill. Wind chill definition, the wind chill is a term used to describe the rate of heat loss on the human body resulting in the combination of low temperature and the wind. In more basic terms, the wind chill is what the really the feel like temperature is to a person when you combine the wind and the cold temperatures. It's the feel like temperature. And here's a diagram showing you uh, exactly how the wind chill works. If you have an exposed arm like this picture, there's heat just above and around your skin. Well, if you blow wind across that, the wind blows across it, it actually removes that little barrier of heat around your skin and makes it feel a lot colder to you. The stronger the wind, the lower the wind chill temperature is. Now, we'll issue a wind chill advisory when the wind chill temperatures are potentially hazardous and the forecasted wind chill will be between minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 24 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's colder, a wind chill warning will be issued, and that means a wind chill temperature of life-threatening conditions, and the forecasted temperature will be below minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the wind chill temperature is calculated by the wind speeds at an average height of 5 feet, typical height of an adult human face, based on readings from the national standard of heights of 33 feet, the typical height uh, where the ammonometer is or where the instrument that measures the wind out at the airports. And this is based on a human face model and incorporates the heat transfer theory, the heat loss from the body to its surroundings during cold and breezy or windy days. Lowers, it also lowers the calm wind threshold to about 3 miles per hour and uses a consistent standard uh, for skin tissue resistance. And we also assume no impact from the sun or, example, a clear night sky as well. Everything is the same. If you really want to get technical, here's how it's actually calculated. This is the new revised wind chill uh, equation, and it's a little fancy, a little, little hard to understand, but basically it's taking the wind chill temperature from uh, the velocity, it's calculating the velocity of the wind in speeds of miles per hour and the temperature uh, in degrees Fahrenheit, and you put that equation and it actually will give you a uh, feel like temperature that we all know as the wind chill. Now we make it a little easier for, for you guys with the National Weather Service. Here's a National Weather Service wind chart, and this can be found on our website. Uh, let's say, for example, the temperature outside is 10 degrees, and the wind is at 30 miles per hour. If you look at this chart, the uh, wind chill would actually be uh, minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the wind chill, even though the air temperature is actually 10 degrees. Now, health hazards in the wintertime you've got to be uh, cautious about is frostbite. It's an injury to the body caused by freezing tissue. Fingers, toes, ears, and the tip of your nose are the most vulnerable places first to get frostbite. Symptoms include white or pale appearances. The area affected should be slowly rewarmed. And uh, if it's real severe, immediate medical attention is needed. Hyperthermia is the above uh, abnormal low body temperature below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Warning signs include uncontrollable shivering, memory loss, disorientation, incoherence, slurred speech, drowsiness, and the apparent exhaustion. Me immediate medical attention is needed and slow warming of the body is also needed as well. So here's some cold weather safety tips. Stay indoors during a winter storm uh, and, and when there's extreme cold outside. Walk carefully on snowy and icy walkways. Wear layers of loose-fitted, uh, lightweight, and warm clothing. Cover all exposed skin during extreme cold conditions. Keep dry and stay out of the wind and change wet clothing if possible. Wear mittens, hats, scarves to cover your face and have a blanket or an emergency kit in your car in case you get stranded during a winter weather event. Here's some websites to keep up to date with uh, winter weather and some other more winter weather information. You can always check out the National Weather Service website about wind chill. You can check the National Weather Service website about winter weather. There's a, a link for winter weather terms and also the FEMA website on being winter weather ready is a good site to keep uh, uh, up to date with the winter weather plans. Thanks for joining us and have a good one.